So, and what's your name? Victoria Kish. So Victoria, tell us, tell me a little bit about what you do now and a little bit about your history. Well, I'm a sixth grade science teacher now uh, in middle school at Kenmore Middle School here in Arlington, Virginia. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, this is my 22nd year teaching, but my 10th year here at Kenmore. Awesome. Um, and I have a husband who teaches at Wakefield High School, just down the street, and um, and we have two kids. I have a sixth grader, McCarley, and a third grader, oh my goodness, uh, Liam. And um, so I grew up in Charlotte, and uh, my mom had a, um, a pretty bad addiction issue, and so um, I was raised by my granny and granddaddy. And uh, granny and granddaddy, and my mom would come back and forth and back and forth. Um, they always kind of protected me and helped me out. Um, but when I got a little bit older, they had to sell their house. They had to go into bankruptcy, and so I didn't have a place to live, and I had to um, go into a kind of a foster situation. Um, I was lucky, though. Uh, I, uh, a lot of people knew about my situation, and one of my friend's families um, actually adopted me, and um, not officially, but fostered me. And then I was with their family uh, all the way through my senior year in high school. They helped me uh, figure out what I needed to do as far as applications to get to college. I had no idea what that meant. Wow. <laughs> and uh, a couple of my friends, their parents were also teachers. And so I was really lucky. Um, my, the one thing my mom did for me, um, when she, and, and when she was pretty healthy, she, was, she had about two years where she was pretty healthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing she did for me is she got me into what was called the open program. And it was kind of an alternative program um, and it had a lot of choice learning. And so because I was in this open program, which was like a kind of like a charter school now, mm -hmm. um, I was able to meet a lot of other kids um, and a lot of other families, but it was kind of a close knit, it was a close knit group. So that really saved me. So her, um, so that really, really helped out. Um, right now, I'm, I've been teaching. I teach a lot of kids from a lot of different backgrounds. Um, I did graduate from college. Uh, two summers ago, I, fin I finished my master's degree. I never thought I'd ever wow. finish a master's degree, a master of, of in education. Um, and I, I'm really blessed because I had a lot of people who wanted to help me out. And I just, maybe I was too stupid or too whatever, to uh, say no, so I was always saying yes, help me, yes, help me, yes, help me. Um, so that's kind of it. So what really? What do you think is like the number one thing to sort of help you beat the odds? Well, I do know that my race does take did help. Um, mm -hmm. The fact that I'm Caucasian, I think that um, that some people maybe reached out to me differently. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's part of it. I think that uh, I've always been pretty personable with people. Um, I think. I think the being in that closeness situation mm -hmm. um, of people who are really involved in their kids' lives, like mm -hmm. I knew my friend's parents, they knew what was happening in my life and they just wanted to help out. Um, I did have a pretty diverse uh, friend group, which was really, really great because um, that helped me in a lot of situations too. Mm -hmm. But I think that um, just the, the, the Merrills were the, and the, the Baggetts, this family, took me in okay. and uh, actually my um, the baggage I'm still in contact with now we you know spelt since you know holidays and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and and um, I think that's really really important and just to finally for, for have me me as a person figure out you know who's who's gonna help me and mm -hmm. who's gonna hinder my path wow. and trying to you know I didn't always stay on the straight and narrow mm -hmm. <laughs> but to try to figure out really who's gonna help me be what I want to be mm -hmm. and uh, and kind of just trusting and having faith, which sometimes was hard. So my last question is, to the youth out there who have parents who are abusing alcohol or drugs or who are who do have an addiction, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them? It's not your fault. Um, it's not their fault either. Um, I do believe that addiction is a disease. I don't think it's a moral issue. I think it's a spiritual issue. Um, there are programs out there that can help you. Um, and when you, any person starts to surround themselves with people who, who make good choices and make them feel good about themselves, it's a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I, I think that might be it. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Victoria. Oh, yeah. Um, awesome. <laughs>